give us what do you think your weakness was though that people don't know right you worked on all your weaknesses but if there was one thing that you was like i want to get better at that what was that one thing when you left your career you know man i i think i i worked on everything every day yeah I, I mean i i can't just really just point out one thing in particular Mm-hmm. Because you know, I don't think I was the the biggest. I was the fastest, but I was going to make up for that. Uh, you know, coming off the line of scrimmage, you know, uh, making the defensive back turn his hips. That was the most important thing for me. If I if if I made him turn his hips, I felt like I had it. Mm-hmm. So bringing that cushion as quickly as possible. So those were some of the things that I always worked on. Right. And uh, you know, bump and run, learning how to defeat bump and run. Uh, you know, and just uh, working on that route tree. So I wouldn't say I was the best, but I think I worked so hard that uh, that no one could look at on film and say, hey, look, he has a weakness, uh, you know, in this route or, or whatever. You know, I, I think I just um, just outworked everybody. And that was yeah. it. I remember playing, I remember like working out in my off seasons. I was like, when I would run like on digs and slants, when I would run from my right to my left, for some reason, it was, I had to catch the ball past my eyes. Like, you know, I had to let it pass my eyes and then would catch it with my pinkies. It was just so hard for me to do this going from my right to my left. And I worked on that throughout my whole career. And I never got to the point where I felt comfortable Running from my right to my left and, and putting my hands in front of my eyes. Well, you know that's the wrong uh, technique of catching the football, right? First of all, I'm glad <laughs> you said well, that. I'm glad you said that, Jay. Wait, 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 wait what's the wrong technique? Habits, man. What's the like wrong this? technique? Now, come on now. Are you serious? You used to catch the ball like that? You mean like with your, like this? Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, I'm nah, talking, it's the like ball, this. If the ball is coming yes. to your, right, you're supposed to extend your arms, right? This is what people do. They extend their arms out. And then some people say catching it past your eyes is the wrong way. And I get it. I've seen, I've seen you catch it past your eyes. I've seen th- thousands of receivers catch it past their eyes. Yeah. But again, you're supposed to catch it before it gets to you, supposedly. Oh, if oh, you're- okay, all right. <laughs> well, for, I think yeah. To, 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 you know what? Can you know I chime in here real quick? Because this is this is and this is what I got from from you guys. Uh, when we catch the ball, when you catch the ball, like we were, like we all, me, T O J R, catch yep. the ball. You have your, you can have your eyes and uh-huh. your hands and the ball all in the same picture frame. So you're yeah, going right. to catch the ball. That I mean, right. that's that's the way it was taught to me through right. you guys and so right. that's the way I learned and I'm like it makes so much sense because what happens is when your eyes and your hands are not in the same frame you have that drop and it's an occasional drop but it's it may be a crucial drop so when your hands eyes and the balls all in the same frame it's it's a grab but and JJ time, you hit it right on the nose hey JJ hit it right on the nose because the thing too if you bobble the ball, you have a second chance of catching the ball. A second chance yeah. again. Right. Versus. versus but, uh, there's, <laughs> but there's. Your but way. There's, your way. You don't have a second chance. Okay. <laughs> but if you if you watch any any receiver right now, if you watch oh. them on a slant or a dig, their arms are in front of their eyes. Right there. It's there. It's the pitcher. It's the diamond. Whatever they've been taught. The thumbs together. Whatever they've been taught. Yep. That's how they've been taught. And they say, and they tell those kids and these NFL players now that if they it goes past your eyes, then that's a bad habit. As you know, over time, you work on every single hand positioning for every single ball. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think a lot of what you're talking about, too, is ball placement, too. Yeah. It, all, yeah. it all boils down to ball placement. And yeah. then it's so funny that JR mentioned that uh, and JJ mentioned that about the ball and, and, and your eyes and your hand being in the same frame. When I went to when I got to Dallas, dude, I almost I almost had to curse Bill Parcells out. Because he tried to t- he tried to change my my catching techniques, yeah. of, in which you're trying to describe. He was like, "Yo, you need to catch the ball." I'm like, "Dude, th- at this point, this is my tenth year in the league. I said, yeah. I've, I've learned from the best in the game, and this is how we were. I was taught to catch the yeah. ball, and I'm like, now all of a sudden, you're trying to 
change my 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 catch techniques. And then he tried to say, "Oh well, ball. that's why." Right. And then he goes, "Oh well, uh, we talked Keyshawn him like that." First of all, I, Keyshawn at this point, I'm I'm feeling myself. <laughs> Keyshawn ain't even on my level at this point in time in my career. I'm like, yo, you can't tell me nothing about Keyshawn. So Keyshawn ain't even on my level at this point. So I got I I. I you gonna bro, say that. I got upset. And dog, immediately I got upset because he tried to change my my catch technique. And I'm like, yo, this is like it, it, it frustrated me too, man, because at that point in time I tried to appease him. And then I'm like, okay, and I tried to make a couple catches and I just was uncomfortable. Yeah. So I just went back to what I knew. And at this point, however many catches that I had. I went with what was comfortable with me uh, for me. I went with how I was taught from from day one, stepping in, yeah. like Jr. said, stepping through those gates of, of of trying to win a championship. And I learned from from Jerry Rice. I was learning from JJ Stokes. And these are again, yeah. this is how I was taught. Well, this is how I was being taught to be a receiver. And then all of a sudden, I think honestly, I think he was trying to play some mind trick, some mind Jedi game with me or whatever, trying to. <laughs> change some stuff in but I was too he had me so hot dude the fact that he was like oh well you know Keyshawn does it what man get out of here with all that dude. hey but T.O. you were the man man hey when you went to Dallas you became the man well when you went like to I Philly said, you be, when you went to Philly you became the man you know what I'm saying but again he was a rock but, star in Philly he became a but, rock but, star when he went right to but 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 part of the reason why we're all on here today is because Jr. You paved the way. That, and I'm saying that that's for everybody on here, even even Hatch. I mean, even yep. he ain't on our level, but wow. you paved the way for him. <laughs> you, hey, you paved the way for him too. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I mean, I, I, I guarantee you, when we get off this, he's gonna be on cloud nine because he's gonna say, "Man, look, I was on, I was on this thing with greatness." <laughs> Like I was on the screen with three great <laughs> young receivers, young baby. And, right. and I did, and I, and I did. That's that personally. That's why I think you guys are the number two. That's okay, um, man. Oh, which is fine. But again, learning and going through my career again, coming out of college, Jerry was it because again, small black college. I'm like, I can I can do what Jerry do. And then in 2001, when I went to the Raiders for um, and Jerry and Tim Brown were there. And that's when I got to see Jerry up close and see the everyday grind that Jerry was doing. I think it's 2001. That was probably your 14th or what, 15th year by that time? Yeah, I was still I was going like, strong. Still going, right? Jerry, still still strong. Jerry, what are you doing? Hey, <laughs> you don't stand in. Hey, he going up. He hey, going I'm like up. A, I'm like a thief in the night, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing? What's going on? Hey, that's that, that's that gold hey. fuel. Hey, don't make me go get my rings now, okay? Oh, if I had my man. rings, I would throw them right in front of you right now. <laughs> oh, right. oh, you talking about? Oh, you talking to uh, Hatch right now? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Hey. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I ain't got no rings. I ain't got no rings. Hey, like, no. Hey, since he, you know, he, you know, he's throwing that out there that we're number two instead of number one. You know? No, I, I, I don't. Honestly, Jr., I don't know what happened. I mean, honestly, I we would have to just basically just. Just tip it off to be it, it being some CTE or something, dog. That's what hey, it Phil. has to be. Hey, Phil. hey Phil, let's forget him. The only reason why I'm on this show is because of you and JJ Stokes. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I don't even see this other person. You know, on this right, right. I ain't gonna be able to live that one down. All right, man. Oh. <laughs>